Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here. Today we're taking a look at an asset in the asset store called Sun Temple. Now this is quite a popular one. Uh, I've seen quite a few people recommend this one and I have actually used it uh, for various different things over the past maybe six months or so. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at it. Overall, the quality is actually rather nice. These pictures that you would see on the asset page don't do it justice. It's a really, really nice asset. So if you go to the scene view and take a look at it, you'll see it is really, really nice. I mean, I love these demo scenes. These demo scenes that, that the uh, developers always put in, I, I am a sucker for those because we can really see what the asset package is really like. Uh, now, obviously, you can apply a little bit of post-processing to this um, and make it look even better. But even without post-processing, it looks really neat. So zooming out, we can see that quality-wise... There is loads of quality here, guys, and quantity. And I love quality and quantity. People say it's about quality or people say it's about quantity. I say it's about both. And it looks really, really nice. Just look at it. There's a whole city on top of the mountain built here. And even in the distance, you can see all this here. You quite literally use this as a level. So I think the whole idea of this is you're able to take bits and pieces from here, there and everywhere, like this building, trees, uh, the walls, whatever, and create, construct your own little area. Um, it is really, really easy to use and it's laid out very nicely in all the folders. So obviously we've got all the meshes here, um, loads of them as we can see, there's just scroll on for ages, they're all here. And then obviously to counter that, we've got all the prefabs in nice folders. So I think no matter what, even if you're not building this style of game, you're going to be able to find something in here which is suitable for your game. I mean, look at all these here. The fire, the flower bed, the pots. I mean, there's garlic there, for goodness sake. If you make it a vampire game, boom, there you go. Vampires don't necessarily fit into any of this, but there you go, there's some garlic. So like I say, quantity-wise, there is a lot here for you to take and use. What makes this even better? Let me tell you, it's free. It is completely free. Yes, it's 700 megabytes, but for what you get there, that's absolutely fantastic. Just be mindful if you're on one of those slow connections or a meter, can anything like that, you know, 700 megabytes may be quite a lot. For most people though, I don't think it really is, but free, free, honestly, cannot argue with that price. Extras wise, I don't think it's really worth talking about extras. Um, I guess the only extra you could talk about is the amount of detail in this scene itself. Um, if we take a little look down the hierarchy, you can see loads of stuff all built into this. And it's it's just absolutely amazing, the effort that has gone into this. I mean, you've got the reflection probes as well. It's not very often you come across that kind of thing in such a free asset. You know, they've gone to the extent of making those reflection probes and making this scene look absolutely fantastic. Uh, so yeah, like I say, content-wise, there is a huge amount for you to use here. Uh, just an absolute huge amount. Even a couple of uh, scripts there that you can use for whatever you need to. Right there, doors. Why not? So I guess that could come under the extras, really, all the scripting. Uh, the usefulness, obviously, is astronomical. This is useful in pretty much any kind of project. Literally any kind of project that you're going to uh, develop in. Obviously, it's geared more towards a kind of, I wouldn't say ancient, but I would say a retro, oldish, maybe Arabian kind of feel to the game. I think it's geared more towards that. Obviously, the customizability of this is high as well because we can take a lot of this and modify it in a, just a unique way because you could literally take, for example, this yellow building, take the material on that, work it a little bit, change its color even if you wanted to, change the shader. You could even add in a good old normal map, uh, you know, even just a normal map, changing that to a grayscale, adding a little bit of uh, bumpiness to it can really customize that asset to a degree that you otherwise wouldn't see. I mean, okay, so I've just pressed play there, but obviously Unity has decided it isn't going to work properly for me. Um, that's not exactly what I was hoping to see, but it still does not deter from the fact that this is one truly amazing asset. So getting into it now, we can see, I mean, look at that. It's really nice. So let's have a, a quick wander around, see what we can find. 
Uh, okay, I don't think we can get ourselves out of this area, but either way... Oh, yes we can. The steps here. It's just so well designed. I mean, like I said, this could be in itself just a level. It's so... I mean, it's so intricate. I really, really love this asset in so many ways. It is so well designed. It is gorgeous. I mean, look at it. Look at that. It's so fitting for so many different uses. So, guys, as you know, I don't rate assets. I like to either recommend them or not. And I'm sure you've guessed it. Yes, I would recommend this asset to anybody, whether you are a beginner, whether you are... There we go. See, there's the door. Brilliant. Whether you're a beginner, whether you're an advanced user, or you just want to learn and take a look at a couple of things, I would recommend this asset. Even if you don't use the whole thing, there is so much in it. Okay, that's not what I expected. <laughs> okay, it's Unity's decided to have a, have a bit of a spasm there. So yeah, even if you're not going to use some of this environment, you'll probably find a little something somewhere in this asset package. It's absolutely amazing. So yes, I would absolutely recommend this to anybody so guys have you used the uh, sun temple asset if you have let me know in the comments let me know your thoughts and if you've got anything on the asset store yourself whether it's free or paid please let me know because i would love to take a look and review don't forget click subscribe button click the bell icon as well and you can stay up to date with everything i have about video game development on my channel guys thank you very much for watching